everyone. Today we are going to solve the read code question minimum time visiting all points. Okay, so uh, let's think about uh, this simple case. So start point is here and the goal point is here. So in this case, how many seconds do we need? So two seconds, right? So um, we move like uh, this point and then we move this point. So two seconds. So if we move like a uh, only vertically and horizontally we need uh, like a uh, let's say like uh, we move this direction like a uh, one second two seconds and three seconds and four seconds right so uh, this pass is uh, like a shortest pass and uh, we need uh, two seconds right and uh, how about uh, this so um one of pass uh, for like a minimum second is like a um, one two three right or like a one two three something like that so um if we move like horizontally and vertically so we need like a, for example one second two second three second four seconds uh, five seconds so why this happen i think you already uh, realized that so we can move um, diagonally, right? So that means uh, we can move like a vertically and horizontally at the same time. So we can save seconds. In other words, so point is moving the same distance as a greater uh, difference between horizontal coordinates or vertical coordinates of two points is sufficient. So uh, let's see an example in the description. So input is one, one and three, four and a minus one and zero. So since we need to uh, take greater difference between two points, so we start from index one, and then we use a, like an absolute value. So um, first of all, so distance uh, in the x coordinate, so like a horizontal distance should be uh, three minus one, right? Three minus one. So versus, and uh, y coordinate should be four minus one, right? Four minus one. So that means um, two versus uh, three. So we take a, a bigger number, bigger distance. So in this case, three. So uh, that's why uh, between two these two points, uh, we need to uh, three seconds. And uh, let's uh, see uh, these two point. So x coordinate. Uh, horizontal coordinate uh, distance should be so minus one minus three and uh, we use uh, like a uh, absolute value so that means four versus uh, absolute value and zero minus four right so four versus four so uh, they're same so that's why uh, answer is four seconds so total time should be uh, three time three seconds and four time uh, four seconds and uh, seven seconds. Okay, so let's make sure this seven seconds. So we start from one one and uh, next target should be three four. So one two three and the uh, next target is minus one zero. So one two three four. So total seven seconds, right? Looks good. And also we should make sure this point. So what I'm trying to say is that. So um, look at uh, this red pass. So three distance, right? That means three seconds. So this distance is equal to longer distance between vertical or horizontal. So vertical distance should be one, two, three. And uh, horizontal distance should be one, two. So this red distance is equal to vertical, right? Which is a longer distance. So that's because uh, we can move um, diagonally. So um, two out of three times moving. Um, so actually we move um, horizontally. So that means from one one to two two and from two two and uh, three three. So yeah, we definitely we move like a uh, vertically, right? But also we move uh, like uh, horizontally. And then uh, we move vertically here but uh, no move horizontally so that's why um we should 
take like a longer distance um, between like a horizontally or vertically. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, uh, initialize result variable with zero. And uh, start looping for i in range and one, two lengths of points. And uh, as I told you, so calculation should be taking max distance. So we use absolute value and uh, points i and zero um, minus points uh, i minus one and zero. So this is a horizontal distance. And so let me copy uh, this. And uh, this calculation is for uh, vertical. So i1 and i minus 1 and 1. Yeah, actually, that's it. After that, return uh, less. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, it looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n because we iterate through all points one by one. And the space complexity is, I think, O1. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm with my solution code. So I hope this will help you understand my solution code deeply. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.